Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. I am Bala Ranganathan. In this session, we're going to see the recap of what we have learned so far. That is comments, echo statement, and ask. We'll try to put together all these three concepts. Let's quickly review the slides and then we'll go and try to see an example. Let's jump into it. So we have seen comments. Why do we need comments? Uh, what is syntax of comments? It's pretty straightforward, like just slash slash and then add a comment, which is very helpful for knowing the information. The syntax is slash slash comment and example is over here. So we have also seen output statement, which is echo and uh, the syntax is echoes some text, whatever the text you are saying it, it will display or echo variable. Variable as a concept, we'll be seeing it in a subsequent session. But as a syntax, very echo in the quotes, we have to provide a variable name or a variable so that variable value gets displayed. Example, flow has started and then the username is in quotes, the username. So username gets displayed. So we also seen input statement, how to take input, which is ask as a command, uh, which prompts a user to enter something. And uh, ask prompt is a syntax. And uh, example, what is the date of the receipt? Let's jump into the one example of putting all these three together. Also uh, in the process, we'll see some best practices, which will be helpful from a writing a bot process standpoint. Let's jump into it. So let's look into the example. Start your computer, launch your Notepad++. In the Notepad++, let's start writing a, writing a code. So best way of starting a bot, bot program is with a header header template. You can basically copy paste and keep this as a template, but ideally this is the best way to put it so that you can have some sort of a, a reference whenever you open the code or open the file or process for your review. So the best practice of doing it is start with a comment. I'll beautify with some header lines and I'll say process name. Let's say input output comment example and and date created and you can specify the date. Uh, let's go for today's date and you can specify created by change log description and you can write changed by and I would also write below the process name so let this looks a little better example to demonstrate comment input and output statement of tag ui or input output statement steps of tag ui all right um so at, at this particular time uh, we are saying 1103 2021 new creation and if you are using any version control software it should take care of by itself but Ideally, version control software takes care of all these details, the changes and change logs by itself. We don't have to do it, but it's a better practice to put some uh, commenting logic or commenting blocks in your code so that uh, you can have uh, these information captured just in case if you're writing or updating any code or line of code or any specific change, any intended indebted change you're doing it, it, it captures it. So let's see an example wherein we are going to capture some information from, ask some information from user, and then we'll capture it and we'll display it for the user. It's a simple program, right? Or simple uh, three statements. So we're going to use three steps. Let's start by asking a user to enter some information. Let's say I'm asking 
user to enter hey uh, what website you want to launch enter example dot com so this is what i'm asking from user you will get any information from the user and i'm going to display at this particular point of time we'll go to display you have entered and in quotes ask result and close the quotes so let's try this i'll try executing it once you try executing it i'll show you how how to launch your respective websites uh, after the execution of this so let's save this as a example go to your appropriate location i am storing in this location which is tag ui flow underscore examples you can store it the, store the code wherever you like to or wherever you wish to in your so i'm going to name this as i input output comment example dot tag or let's make it simple i say io comment dot comment example ex dot tag save the file so when you save the file now let's execute this file string this so that we have space go to search for command cmd or you can go to window or you can go to windows and uh, you have system settings windows systems and you have a command prompt click on command prompt add here uh, and let's go to our and uh, let's just execute this so tag to execute it tag ui under uh, tag ui io dot tag in this particular case let's use minus h so that we don't want to launch browser but next iteration will launch a browser as well okay so let's click on this and it should the whole process should start anytime process has started and it is asking for us to enter the websites i'm going to say www.yahoo.com and enter so it says you have entered properly so now we are, we have captured the site or website so this is an example of comment taking accepting input from a user and also displaying the user now we'll see in this case we have requested user to enter the website and uh, it's just displaying it it's not making fun right so in our next iteration let's update the code in a such a way that it should be able to launch the appropriate website whichever website i'm asking the asking or whatever the website i'm entering should be launched okay so let's go back to our code we just update this code uh, we'll say hey http colon slash slash and then just to put the variable ask underscore result and uh, enter save go back to your code and then let's just remove the hatch so that we want this time around to open the browser and launch appropriate site so we clicked on it Chrome, Chrome gets open and it is asking for us to enter a website name which we want to launch. I would say yahoo.com or you can say www.yahoo.com and say enter. So now you see Yahoo is open. Right? So we'll see another example. We'll try executing one more time. Right? And then say again, let's execute it. This gets launched. You have a prompt come in. And then say get bala.com and so now see it's able to launch these sites and uh, close this add one more statement to make it a little bit more better five and save so we'll make it a little slower to now you can see it's launching it's waiting for the sites to launch and uh, it finishes so you can also see in the in the command prompt uh, logs uh, each steps which is being executed for your task so this concludes uh, putting the concepts all the concepts together how do you use it see you in the next session